Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Welcome to another 2023 Project Orchids video. This is Orchid number two, voted by your good selves, and it's um, Renanthera Imshutiana. I'll do a pop up. <laughs> it's not spelled how you might think. Um, now, if you want to see this two months ago when we actually changed the setup to how it is now, that is in video two and there'll be an info card as well as a link in the description yeah the info cards coming up now top right hand corner right if you've been away welcome back um, so we changed the setup not really the setup last time round. we changed the moss type um, and there was a good reason for that now, this lives in the bathroom on a south-facing window with frosted glass. That generates some heat through the glass. Because it's in the bathroom, there's a towel rail in there, so that, you know, when the heating comes on for hot water sort of thing, which is all it does this time of year, since we're in a bit of a heat wave at the moment, um, it's got that extra little bit, that extra little bit in there. Um, now, out of all the species of um, Renantheras, Imshutiana is a cooler grower, relatively speaking. It just grows at higher elevations, so it can put up with lower temperatures than most of them, uh, which is why I chose it. Um, right, the setup is sphagnum moss, and at the moment it's dust dry, and that's what I do. I let it get like that, and then all we do is fill the tray up like that so we've now got water in the tray and this type of moss wicks really nicely so in a few hours time it'll all be damp and most of that water in the tray will be gone and um, then I'll just let it dry out again so that's what it gets now that water that just went in there had feed in it so the roots are now getting fed. Um, they'll take as much as they want. Now it has grown a bit since last time. It's completed a leaf and started a new one. Very slow progress. And we have a new root tip that we didn't have last time. It's the only one, I've just checked. <laughs> so I was expecting quite a few new root tips to start growing, but they're not. And no brand new roots and no sign of a spike. So that's the position we're in at the moment. It's alive, it's growing, and it seems to be putting up with this setup. Um, so as far as the rest of the year is concerned, no change. It'll get a feed every second or third watering that I do, and that'll be followed by one or two pure water flushes, effectively. When it gets a pure water flush, it's not really a flush because any residual feed from the previous watering will still be there. It'll be in amongst the dry moss. So it, it reinvigorates it at a much, much weaker level, but it's not pure water as such. So that's that, and um, nothing much to do with this apart from keep my eye on the, the dryness, you know, and make sure it gets topped up and doesn't stay dry for, well, for more than a day, really, two days most. Um, and it's easy enough because obviously it's in the bathroom. Every time I go and stand in the bathroom, like men do, I'm looking at it. It's on the windowsill, so I can't possibly forget it, can I? Um, so that's it. That's the progress. And the expectation is just more of the same. You know, it'd be nice to see some more root tips and some more roots, an actual bigger, better root system. But as far as growth is concerned, as long as it continues to grow and gain leaves, at some point... Hopefully it'll have enough strength to bloom. It's got the light now, and it obviously won't cool down anywhere near as much in the bathroom in the winter because of the heating. You know, I live in the house. I don't like getting freezing cold. So that's that. Um, if you're not already subscribed, it would be nice if you did so. And don't forget the old thumbs up on the video. I know not everybody likes the Project Orchids vids, but those that do, thanks for watching and all that. And, um, yeah, another Project Orchid videos. Um, on the end of this video will be the playlist for Orchid number two. This is the third video in the set. Before I go, this is a favour. 
Now, it shouldn't really be part of a Project Orchids video, but several people have asked, because that lives in the bathroom, people with good memories, there's something else lives in the bathroom. And it's the Vanda, yeah? And several people have asked how that's doing, and I suspect that's off camera because it's tall. I'll just lift that up a bit so you can see what's going on. So what happens with this, I trimmed quite a few roots last time I did a bit of maintenance on this, the old sort of dead woody ones, so that it gets down in there a bit more and some of these white roots get a bit better hydration. Um, and this is the same basically. This just gets water thrown in and um, now that's got feed in it so you know that those roots will wick up now and that's a feed for the orchid it doesn't need to come right up to the top of the roots it would be good to be able to do that but the physical amount of water to make sure those roots were completely submerged is beyond what I'm prepared to do They'll, it, you know, the roots will have to wick up based on what they've got, where they touch. And if it needs more roots, then it needs to grow some, basically. <laughs> Again, this is progressing. It's grown several new leaves. It's getting taller all the time. It's dropped a couple at the bottom. That was expected. It would be very nice if I could get enough roots here at this level to be able to cut the bottom of the plant right off and start a new root system but I haven't got that, you know. Some people say if you wrap it in moss and keep it damp, you'll start new roots, but you can also rot the stem. <laughs> anyway, it's doing okay. There's no sign of a spike. Um, no, no sign of a spike, but it's growing. It has put new leaves out and you know, it, it, it's okay. It's doing okay. Nicer if it stood upright or stayed upright. When I put it back on the windowsill, I sort of position it in an upright position and carefully let go, and it does actually stay there. But as soon as I pick the jar up, it uh, wobbles all over the place. So there we are, just on the end, because they both live next door to each other on that sunny windowsill. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to see this in bloom again. There will be a problem if it produces a spike. There's no way it can stay on that windowsill with a spike. The windowsill is only just wide enough for these two plants. Yeah, like that. Well, the spike's longer than that. <laughs> Where's it going to go? We'll worry about that if and when it happens. So there we go. A little additional bit that's not part of the Project Orchids, but requested. So uh, that's the Vanda.